George Cox of Westford Cat. We are here with Noel Richardson of the Richardson Method, all to talk about the psychic world and her new show. So, um, Noel, why don't you tell us what your new show is all about? Thanks, George. Um, the Richardson Method is based on my last name. I'm a psychic medium, and uh, I believe in proving the continuity of life. I work at a restaurant every once a, month, once a month in Revere, Massachusetts called Sebastian's where people have dinner and then afterwards I do mediumship. What mediumship means is if you do have somebody on the other side that's about and around you that I can pick them up and there's a healing process that can happen. Versus the psychic world which has to do with tarot cards and maybe some other modalities to find out what's going to happen with your life here now in the next six months to 12 months, that's a lot different than the mediumship world. So in the Richardson Method we kind of explain, we go around, we do readings for people here at CAT and we kind of put them on the air and then we go back down to Sebastian's and other locations and talk about mediumship and, and then interview the people that have been read and that's what the, med the Richardson Method's about. So people watching at home, we're going to bounce back in between, you know, a couple of readings that she did here, tarot card readings, and then, you know, we're going to cut it in with some of the footage on location right. at Sebastian's, which I think, you know, uh, just gives another side. Now tell me, what are the difference between the two readings that you did here in the studio and at uh, Sebastian's? Well, when I, when I talk to, to souls on the other side, as I want to say, I want to be really clear about that. When I talk to people who have trans, who've gone over or transformed, we might say, so we don't want to always say heaven to everybody who doesn't think so, but when they cross over into heaven, um, I can pick them up there and talk to them and prove the healing process. Because sometimes we miss, are in such deep grief over death, and that's so important is that healing process. So, but, the difference is, is when it does change, is when I do do tarot cards with somebody, there's a, there's a client that does not want to talk to somebody on the other side of life. They want to know when their next new house is, when, their next, when they're going to buy their new boat, when they're getting married, when they're having their children. So it changes the dynamic versus talking to the other side. So there's an energy flip that I do within myself and within my own body to be able to produce the two. And I know I, recently I had an experience where um, you know, there was someone that I was very deeply in love with, uh, his name was Lewis, and I was cleaning up my attic, and I noticed his picture was there, and I, his picture was stuck, and I, I un, you know, unstuck the picture, looked behind it, was prayer, prayer card. He died on June 26th, the day that I cleaned up my attic was June 26th. So I do believe that we were all connected, and- He's giving you a sign, and he's that's- He's giving you a sign, important. like, yeah. George, remember me, and I cried. I, I just sat in my living room and cried. I watch over you. That's a, I watch over you. Right. Um, I don't believe that was a coincidence. No. And what what would you like to say to people who who have those type of experiences? I think that everybody has a type of experiences, and some people don't know when to listen. What I mean about listening is like I can't feel him. I can't feel her. And death is a very tragic thing for anybody. I mean, it'll change your life and it can wreck your life. So you have to get quiet and listen and know to notice the subtle nuances. You know, spirits uh, or your, your family will send you birds. They'll send you um, um, money on the floor. They'll give you signs of love versus signs of loudness. So you might see your clocks change. You might see your computer flicker. Usually they're very light and very loving. But you just have to look around and notice because you're not alone because they never leave us. And... Um you know, what would you like to say to people who just need to be more in tune with their, with their other side? Well, you know, I think if you have a gift from God, I think that it would be awesome if everybody can develop it to help another human being. Not everybody wants to do that. It's a scary place to be, to develop a gift to help someone else. Not everybody wants to be on board with that. But the people that do want to be on board with that, because majority of us have intuition, there's several books and several classes. All you have to do is get on Google, there's some, so many wonderful bo books out there to tap into your, to your dynamic. Um, and there's, I do say to everybody, grab some cards, go down to a local store. You know, tarot's not a bad thing. There's angel cards, there's animal cards. Grab something and start opening up those avenues that are inside you and start playing with them. And you'll be amazed at what will happen. Excellent, so um, we're gonna show a little bit of um, Noel, the Richardson Method, on location at uh, Sebastian's on Broadway and um, some also readings that you did, tarot card readings in the studio today. And if you'd like more information, please visit her Facebook page at The Richardson Method. And um, we want you to be more open to this. If you'd like to be on the show, drop us a line here and um, maybe, you know, Noelle would be more than happy to 
read you right here in the studio. So right now we're going to show some of that footage and thank you for watching. Okay, so I'm just going to go with what I have and you and I are not, well, don't feed me, so that's the best way to go because then I don't look like a charlatan. You're not like, I walk out and you go, that girl sucked. This way, <laughs> this way, if you say yes or no to me and if you can open your heart and take your pants down, you're the best. So I was driving here today and this guy stepped in and I do believe that he had a uh, problem with breathing and congestive heart failure prior to passing. I do believe that he was kind but he had sarcastic jokes. I do believe that he lost his hair prior to passing and has a bump in the middle of his nose. I do feel he had one ear higher than the other. Can you understand this man? Okay, so you have a younger guy behind you and you have an older guy behind you. Is Brian the younger one? Yes. Okay. How long has Brian been deceased? Do you know Brian's around you a lot? Okay, can I just, I love you, you're a nice lady, but I don't know if he's crossed over to heaven, but he's around you a lot. Oh my God. Were you, were you waiting? Okay, he's, yeah. Oh, what, what, I don't know what religion that she is, and you should probably study it a little bit because she's kind of not sure. I'm getting her like pieces of jello. Like I'm having a hard time getting to her because she doesn't know if this is okay. So let me tell you, she was raised one way and then she had to convert to something else to get wherever she had to go. Do you get that? Okay, good. And um, you showed a picture of your mom. And uh, how long ago did your mom pass? A year and a half ago. And um, what would you like to say to people who don't believe in this in this stuff? Do you feel like your mom is always around you? Do you dream about her? Um, does she try to send you messages at all? Or do you, what kind of feeling do you still get from your mom? Well, the funny thing is, is lately I keep losing everything. And then they'll just turn up out of nowhere. So that's what's creeping me out. So like I do have a sense that she is around and that and that that's the sense. But like, I mean, I've always been skeptical of mediums and psychics, but you know, she did know a lot about like my mom having a hard life and you know, so she she did know a lot. Are you 30 now? No, I'm 27. Yeah, so by 30, I'm going to say to you, I really like the position you're in. Oh, okay. Uh, but I really, like I said to you, I want you to take risks here. This is a great company. It'll take great care of you. And I do feel like, I don't know if they pay you back for the work you do or you get to buy in. I don't know what you do. I'm not going to ask questions. But there's something lucrative you put on the side and it grows or whatever. Yes. So, yes. Okay. So, yeah. And that's going to be. That's why I'm never leaving. No, no I'm never going to leave <laughs> yeah. either. I don't know where yeah. it is. Could be a, a dentist hygienist. Yeah. I'm going to scrape your teeth. I don't care. Because that's going to really grow for you. Yes. Okay. What other questions do you want to ask the cards? Anything specifically, just go ahead and ask and we'll move them around. Anything. What are the type of questions people, I feel like you answered so much, like okay. a lot anyways, you answered about have children, have sex with your clothes on, <laughs> definitely look for the new, the new postings. Yeah. Um, and there's one posting that's coming in, Erin, that's really weird. Like it comes in like you go, who would take that? Ask about it. Okay. Every single one that comes in where they're moving people around, ask because it's going to be the one that nobody asks about that's going to be the perfect one. And it's going to be like nobody applies for it but you. And it's got like a 30% raise and it's got all this stuff. In it, but it's the way it's worded. Okay. I'll definitely keep my eye out. Yes, please do. And you, you don't have to worry about him because he's always going to have extra checks. And I really like the savings that you guys are doing. Okay. That sounds perfect for me. Yeah, because I really feel like that, you know, the house is not too far off. I don't know if it's eight months, but where, I'm where say, that's I'm gonna, what we're I'm, gonna, I'm for. saying that this is going to show up before you. Before we're it's, actually, I think, intending to look. You've got to take it, though. You've got to take it. And I don't know if somebody knows that these people are leaving because they got transferred. Like, I feel this could be word of mouth type thing, but it's adorable. Okay. And yet, it's like. Okay. I'll definitely keep And I think your dad's going to step in, and I think a lot of other people are going to step in and help you with that. Okay. You have, but it's a, it's a must take. The final home. Okay. It's, I can tell you what it looks like. If I could draw it, I would. If I was a draw, it's a door. Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> okay. Like they do, like it looks tiny. Like you, when you drive up, you're going to be like, I don't want anything to do with this house. And once you open that doors, you won't believe what they've done with it. Yeah. It's huge. Okay. The upstairs is huge. Everything's finished. It's more than you ever want to clean. So that's what I want to say to you. Like. You don't want anything bigger than this. 
Okay, with my two crazy boys. Yeah, well, no, yeah, oh, yeah, mm, yeah, oh. Uh. Well, the, fir the first one's crazy, the second one's not so crazy. Okay. Much more calm, much more laid back, much more different soul, much more introspective, much more like you're kind of like yourself. Okay. Very smart, very engineering-ish, but the first one is very much into sports, and he will quit everyone he starts. Okay. Your husband never did that, so you're gonna have this, he's just gonna just decide. Right in the middle of the game, in the middle of the game, but he's done. Done. And Linda's gonna be the first to be like your mother-in-law will be like, he's fine. It's okay. He's not, he's tired. And I can give her give him to her. Ex <laughs> always as much as you can. Yes. Because he's gonna be a he's gonna be a mama's boy. Okay. Yeah, but he he has big things for him. This kid's gonna be very successful. But there's a reason he's stubborn, and it's your family's fault. Just so you know. Okay. He's really stubborn from, I think, pretty sure it's your grandfather. Do you see any baby now? Not for me, but in general? Not for you, in general? In your family? I can get your family. Yeah. Um, your related family or somebody else's related family? My. Definitely f family. yours. Well, I'm like I said to you, I'm really wondering if your sister's going to get pregnant again. Well, my other sister is pregnant. So okay. Could that be? Twins? I just, no, 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 no. Just like... Is this her first? Yes. Oh, she could have more. I probably, I would imagine. Um, does she know this is a boy? Yes. Oh, God, you guys just need to, you can have the, the rim, most rambunctious Christmas. You do know that. I know. That's why when you said two boys. I'm um, like, your Christmases are going to be like, just, you know what you should do is like. We're outnumbered. Take, we take have your out, tree everyone stand else outnumbered. and nail it into the ground. Yeah. Because that, that tree's going to go flying and the yes. dog's going to go flying and the food's going to go flying. But the good thing is, is they all grow up really, really tight. I can tell you that much. They all grow up really, really tight. Good. And that's a good thing. Do you have all of her jewelry? Because she's telling me she's had some beautiful sets and she okay. said you have them. Okay? All right, so I do, so we got, we have Nana. Yeah. Okay. And, um, did you get any answers that you were looking for? Yes. And um, what, what type of things did she pick up on that surprised you? Um, the jewelry. This is a recent passing, correct? Yes. Okay. So can I have a name? Okay, as I come into your vibration, I keep just hearing music, music, music. So there's something that had to do with her music or what you played there at the funeral, okay? There's a music connection. Can you understand that? So this is really recent, because she's telling me she just got there. Okay, so she wants to talk to you about it. Okay, she was like, because everybody, I guess, was worried about her, like for a while, everybody was worried about her. Um, she wants to let you know how relaxed she feels, okay? She's like, I feel relaxed. She really didn't like to be in her, what didn't want to be in her body anymore, and I don't know what happened to her, but she had a really, was ha really handed a crap body. Do you know what I mean? When you're a soul, you yes. choose a body, it's like she was in the wrong line. Yep. You know, she was like, give me whatever you have, don't get me sturdy, that type of thing, okay? All right, so that's how she felt. This was constantly breaking down on her, all right? Yes. Yep. What's your name? What? Yep. Carmella. Carmella, what a pretty name. So who's Carmella on the other side? Okay. Because she wants to talk. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she never even spoke English. Well, I was just going to say to you, she doesn't speak English. Um, so, but I'm going to ask her to for me. Okay. So she's really feisty, Carmella, and obviously you're not as feisty as that woman. Okay. Because I don't think there's many women that are as feisty as her, but I give her credit to be feisty, okay? So let me describe her to you. I do feel like um, I got, in, got people telling me that I wore the same kind of thing all the time, okay? So let me tell you what I love about Karma, your, your grandmother, okay? And I don't know how to say this to you nicely, but I am going to say this to you nicely. Did she like to wear black all the time? You know she was a Strega Nostra, right? Okay, good. Okay. Because I'm kidding you. All right, now we got Aunt Jean. Aunt Jean thinks she's the prettiest. Aunt Jean had black hair to the shoulders, and Aunt Jean was the one that helped you. And I'm gonna tell you something else about Aunt Jean now that we have her name. She wasn't the type of person that you would think would help you. But she's become much more loving over there. She was very stoic here, and there was something, there was something like a, a hurtness with her. 
Like yeah. somebody hurt her. You get that? You get yeah, that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So I know it's hard to think that she would ever help you as much as she has helped you, but she would never, whether your mother was the most beautiful one, she would never not be here for you. Your family. You know, they were always there for each other, even though they, yeah, some of them they hated each were. other. Like, I don't know who hit who, or I'm gonna kill her, but they always were there for each other. Can you understand that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and now that you and I are never speaking again, no more. Now that we're best friends. Do you see anybody else there? Well, your mother's there, but I'll be here all night because you know how many women you have behind you? Not women, I mean. Anybody? You want a man? A I, I do too, but um. <laughs> what's it, give me a name, hun. Bobby. Bobby been over there a while? No. How long? Two months. Okay. So I'm going to describe this guy, okay? So if it's not with her that I'm moving on, but I've got a kid with a young face. I also have a kind of like a spiky hair or not spiky hair but hair close to my head. I also have a, a t-shirt on. I also am, well, I have got a wise sense of humor and I'm wise. I'm a wise guy. I give people a hard time. Is this him? Yeah. I don't, I, I love you to pieces. Um, is this one of your children's children? Like how do you know this kid? My kid. Your kid, okay. I love Bobby. Okay, how do I say this nicely? Did he live with you? Uh, yeah, possibly. Okay, because he's living with you now. <clears throat> I'll take him. I don't think he's gone home to God yet, but I already knew that coming in tonight, so I knew there would be a couple of people. Um, there's unfinished business in his life. You can understand that, right? So he's gonna hang around for a little bit, give him 30 more days. But he's not he's, he's not anti-religious, he's not afraid of God. He's just got things to finish up. Do you understand there's a lot of paperwork or something that someone, I don't even know what's going on with him. Can you understand the paperwork? Okay. So have you been seeing any lights or anything flashing and anything like that? Um. Everyone thinks I'm crazy, but early in the morning when he used to go out and have a cigarette, I hear the door close, and I know it's my door. I hear the strong door, and I hear that. Yeah, he's. And he's a like, couple of times I yelled at my other son, and I said, "Richard, what are you doing coming in so early?" It's him, mother. I've been home all night. It's him. And it, there was it's no him. one there, really. That's him. I heard it a couple of times. My computer was on, and he always worked the computer, and I don't. You can I just explain something to you so we're all on the same page? Yeah. When you're crossed and you go to heaven. You don't play with computers. Occasionally you will, but waywards or stuck use internet access stuff, lights, anything that's electrical. Okay, do you get that? Mm -hmm. So he has not gone home. Okay. Um, I do feel like he didn't want to die. So that's another thing. He's a little angry. Wants to be here. Wants to finish up all this this turmoil. Okay. He needs to go over to to heal basically, but I think he's gonna hang around for thirty more days. He's going to be like the, the Greeks. He's going to wait 40 if he can. <laughs> okay? So you can talk to him out loud, and then if you feel comfortable, you can tell him to, you know, move on. But he's living with you, right? I always felt that anyway, because he was still there, but he didn't. Right. Well, well you're intuitive, so we already yeah. nailed that down. So I'll leave you with the blessings of Aunt Jean and Bobby. No, I can't leave you blessings with him, because he's still there. <laughs> All right. So you can hold on to him if you want to. No. Let it go. I think you need to have a talk with him. I think he needs to be forgiven. And he'll go. You know Usually a psychic reading has a 12 month shelf life. That means if somebody says to you, you're gonna get a new dog or you're gonna get a new house and it doesn't happen in three months, Take a nice deep breath in, give it some time to work out. Mediumship is co proving the continuity of life. That means people who have crossed over sometimes step in with me because they have something to say and they prove the continuity of life from messages of love, hope, and faith. 
So I did say to Francesca when she sat down that I do feel like that my chest is closing in. I do feel like that I am very heated in the body. So there was somebody that had severe chemotherapy prior to passing. Can you understand that? Yes. Okay, so I do feel that that individual has stepped in for help. I do feel like this person was extremely loving, and I do feel like this person helped you in very, very many different ways subliminally, because I feel like you have some things in common with this person. Can you understand? Yes. Perfect, great. Give me three of any kind of card, so let's see what's going on. So now we know that somebody's, we're never alone. Ah, what I say to you? Pentacles stand for money. So if you're gonna do cards at home, if you have cards at home and you say to me, I don't understand Noel, well, when you get pentacles like this, and I want you to notice it's really important, he's looking down at his money. So what he's saying is, I worked hard for this, I deserve it, there it is, let me adore it, okay? So that's a really good thing for you. So the devil means huge change, and in your read of the, the Richardson Method, what this means is very much emotional turmoil of affairs coming for the summer. What I mean for you is that you are going to look at love like you've never looked at it before, and it's already started happening. How you were thinking about what you needed in your life last year, you weren't thinking clearly. <laughs> True? True. So now, you need to find a really good father figure. It's the first time you ever thought about it, right? Yeah. He needs to be a good father. That's one of your number one priorities. Mm -hmm. Even though he needs to be driven, but he needs to be a good dad. That's a thing for you, is that you don't want him unavailable. No. <laughs> okay, so now, good, we, give me three more. So we're answering some questions that need to be answered. So, I wanna talk to you about this, this one of King of Swords, so, ooh. So, Coming in within the next seven days is two dark-haired men, okay? Both extremely handsome, okay? But one, I have to say to you, is wishy-washy. This is my wishy-washy one. He, he collects a lot of stuff and then doesn't know if he's looking backwards or looking forwards, okay? Mm -hmm. But he's hot, so it's, it's really gonna be hard to see. So he's gonna like whine and dine you and take you to someplace nice, and he's gonna know a lot about like really weird stuff like stocks, which is kind of impress you. But when you finally, I think it's you get, get in his car or you see his apartment and you realize that he's kind of like lost, you're gonna, I, your new line is going to be for the whole summer is I can't fix that. <laughs> Okay. Stuff. What else can uh, What else can this the is, cards tell her? This is good stuff. Um, let's see. I don't know. I'm trying to think of. It's really questions. overwhelming in a reading because you just go like, "Oh my God, this man!" You just told oh, me so much. <laughs> no, I did. And you're like, you want to ask a question, then you get in your car, you're like, "Ooh, what did I ask do? Is, yeah. What did I do? Um, I don't know. I think. I mean. My big question was about the personal side of my life because there's so many big question marks over it. And, you know, for me, like knowing that people, I'm, that I am gonna be able to meet people and have that social interaction and make those decisions, that's really a lot. helpful. Because that's, that's a priority for me right now. Like you said, my job is great. And you're ready for husband and kids. You're that's, what you're, that's what you want. Yeah. Yeah. But you've got to know, from what I can see from the cards, your your thought process of change has completely changed. Yeah. I think you, you know, you're just like, oh, that's that's one that looks good. I'll take type, I'll take A. Yeah, no. And now you're like, you know what, no. Mm, you've got to, you know. Right. you got to yeah. have your job that you go to every day. you right. got to have a brain in your head. Right. You know, you've got, yeah. So and a you, guy who's going to be a man and not. No, well, no, you um, don't want a boy. Know. A, ch a child. Because when I got that card, I'm like, she wants a man. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I think the cards look great. Yay. This I really do. Stuff. We got a lot of communication. We, I definitely feel like this people working with you and for you all the time. So you're letting the universe work with you. Yeah. And you're believing in that. And I think that that'll, you know, it looks you have a busy summer. But when I said to you, I smell pentacles, I thought it was really funny. I'm like, I, what do you do extra for work? You do extra money. <laughs> But I, I'm telling you, I see that. And you've got men with money coming in. And you've Helpful. got two you're gonna hear from within the next three days that you will have dates with by next week. Good. <laughs> You'll be dating a lot. More, more dates than that. Put those dating shoes on. You'll be I'll dating a lot. I'll take it, let's do it. <laughs> well, that was, any other questions I can answer for you? No, this is great. This was great. Well, we want to thank uh, Francesca Simone coming in tonight for the Richardson Method. We did some tarot card reading and talked to, um, who was the person on the other side that was sick? We talked about 
who, the, who had the... Oh, my grandfather. Well, your grandfather was very per person to her. And that's really important to prove the continuity of life. I mean, I wouldn't do what I do because I, I don't believe in it because I truly do. And I truly believe that, you know, when the cards tonight, we got some great answers. We know where her life is going. And we're so glad that you guys tuned in to the Richardson Method. I'm Noelle Richardson. Thank you so much for stopping by, and we'll see you soon.